back over here. <clears throat> I was kind of hoping we could use this on the apples and crush them, but it doesn't look like it. things are going to combine. I haven't tried them all, of course, but I don't think this last one. Hmm. Probably, since nothing is going to happen here with that regard, or in that regard, I should say, I... Probably not sure what we're gonna do here with as far as this goes. Oh, I can go in a little bit, at least. I wasn't sure. The trough is full to the brim with mountain water. This is probably where the earth pixies fill up with water supplies to take into the mine. The trough is full. Stop. Oh. Earth Pixie Teddy. I tie this to the end of this, and then lure them out, maybe? Nope. Yeah. Earth Pixie Teddy. <laughs> the Earth Pixie's like, oh, my little teddy bear. So great. Like, what, dude? Seriously? The shaft leads deep down into the mountain. There's a little glimmer of light down there. Maybe even more Earth Pixies. And they put him back out again. You goddamn stink mother sons of bitches! <laughs> He's like all kinds of mad. They didn't take any of his stuff though. He's even still got the teddy with him. Okay, so if I go down this way, I can't go that far before they notice me. What about this way? It's some kind of water skin or camel bag. They're usually made from particular parts of animals, but I won't go into details. Who's that? Ah! Yep, they saw him again. Okay, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. Throw him. You! So, fortunately, his getting thrown back out just does that. Just gets him thrown out, doesn't do anything else. So that's... That's good. I guess there's probably nothing else over here. 
There was the fire, but otherwise. The torch. I don't know why I have to get so close to look at stuff. Alright. Hook this to this, maybe? No. Let's go with anything else. No. At least as far as I can see, no. I wonder if I can throw the teddy down the shaft over here, maybe. A little farther so I can see it. Okay. No. Sit teddy on the chair. Oh. I do that. They're gonna fight. Is that is it gonna be a fight? <gasps> He's so cute. <laughs> now I don't need Teddy anymore. I definitely can't climb down there. I don't think that would help me. I, mean, I don't get anything to interact with any of this stuff, though, so I don't know what I would be doing now that they're down there. I was hoping maybe they'd leave behind a pickaxe or something, but that didn't seem to be the case. Oh, here we go. Another room. A wooden chest with steel bands and a hefty lock. Locked. Yeah, I know. How about we do this on there, maybe? No? Nope. Probably used to open that lock, maybe. Might need something else. All right, so not that yet, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, Gremlins, it's pretty gory. They get away with it because you have Lord of the Rings does a lot of beheadings and stuff too, the Lord of the Rings movies. They get away with it by saying, well, it's not human. And so they make an exception for it. It's still gory. It's arguable whether, because I mean, it's just based on your personal opinion. Whether it's still gory or not, I think it's still gory. I don't think it's... Wait, maybe, I guess, until this guy goes friggin' back. Is he always facing that way? Pretty much. He's, like, always facing out this way.
Uh, I don't think any of these. <clears throat> I guess I'll wait for this to go back and then I'll examine the campfire. A small fire. The pixies warm themselves up by it every now and again. Okay. So if I had some way... Oh, right, that's a water skin. Put that fire out, maybe. And if I time it right, okay. I dump this on I'll there. I'll fill the water skin with as much water as I can and then seal it by knotting it. The skin is absolutely full of water. I'd better watch out it doesn't burst. Or maybe I make sure it bursts. Huh? Huh? Maybe. Make sure I'm far enough away that they don't see me until, basically, till after the fact. Oh, nope. I'm not going to use that on there. At least not yet. What happens if I put that with... I can't even do it like as part of the drink or something. Okay, well, we'll need it for something, but apparently not there right now. Okay, so he does that. Now he's going to look. Oh, no. Not yet. What's the pattern here? He seems to do that for quite a bit before he even looks somewhere. So I guess as soon as he looks again, I'll just go right after. It seems like there's a long, long period of time in between. True. True. I'm just saying like Lord of the Rings, those PG-13 with beheadings. The stuff you're talking about is rated R stuff, so that's that'd be a little bit different, right? The torch is lighting up the whole passage. I can't get past there without being discovered. It's like, wait, where's the light? Oh no, it just it just doesn't know that I'm here now. Oh, and I grabbed the torch too. Okay. Hmm. This torch isn't fixed to the bracket like the others. I can take this one. I go past this way. Yeah, because it didn't see me. Because the torch went out. A pile of dust and stones. Maybe the earth pixies have been sieving stone to find jewels, and this is what's left. Yeah, no, I like the Lord of the Rings. I feel like... I don't know. I think PG-13 is probably fine for Lord of the Rings. I mean, I don't know. the There aren't a lot of those kinds of beheadings, but there are, at least in the first one, The Fellowship of the Ring, there are at least two beheadings I can think of. At least two. When they have the cave troll in that big chamber in Moria, there's a place where Aragorn swings his sword with two hands and beheads just a smaller, like, goblin. And there's the very end after Boromir has died, or in the process while Boromir's dying, he fights the one archer, Urukai, right? And then he beheads it. So that's at least two in the first movie. My point is just that there are things that, pe that they do in Hollywood now that they couldn't have done back then. So I feel like some of the gore from back then 
is just kind of once they cross a certain threshold of things like gore or violence or or sex or whatever or language they don't tend to back away from that threshold once they've cr- passed that they tend to dance on that the the new side of that line it's all really i was kind of saying a pile of dust and stones maybe the earth pixies have been a pile of- but nothing for me right now okay Veins in the rock, piece of wood. Does this guy turn? I haven't been looking at his pattern. Does this guy turn? I would assume at some point he does, right? It does. She does. I have no idea what the gender of pixies are, right? Yeah, there you go. Just looked around just now. And the pattern's not consistent. So you could be going and it could happen to look while you're going too. Like there it's looking a lot, but at one point it was just sitting there digging a whole bunch, not looking around. Piece of wood there. I'm going to get carried out, but maybe he can give me a description a of the A smooth piece of wood, half a meter long. I'd say it's some kind of handle or shaft. Feel like I'm gonna get caught doing this, but let's try it. Okay, they didn't object, so I was awfully close. Alright. Handle on what? Anything that I have right now? Does not seem like it. I collected a lot of these things that seem to not work together. They just would interact with something in the environment here. Veins in the rock, and then there's... Possibly going around this way. Right, can I walk over here, maybe? Oh, there's also... I don't know. I might be able to go into a chamber over here, right? He, This dude couldn't see. So maybe I can go around again. Now, nah, so you don't go any farther in here. Can I click over here? He tries to go around this other way. I'm gonna go around. 